Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer practice lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. This lab uses the same topology as the previous lab, number 20. Whereas lab 20 had you configure various technologies, this lab requires you to troubleshoot several configuration errors to restore connectivity between PCs 1, 2, 3, and 4. Troubleshooting is a valuable skill and also good practice for the exam, as you will most likely encounter some sort of troubleshooting lab in your exam. In this video, I won't go through the exact troubleshooting method I would use to fix the topology. There is somewhat of an art to troubleshooting, and you can go about it in many ways. Instead, I will just show you the configuration errors one by one. However, it is important to have some sort of system to troubleshoot. Try to complete the lab yourself first, then continue watching this video if you can't find and fix all of the configuration errors, or watch it after to check your solution. First, let's try to ping from PC1 and see if it can reach the other PCs. Ping 10.0.1.12. Can't reach PC2. Ping 10.0.0.13. Can't reach PC3. And ping 10.0.1.14. Can't reach PC4. So, PC1 can't reach any of the other PCs. There are multiple misconfigurations in this lab, and they all contribute to that, but let's look at one of them. I'll go on switch one password of CCNA, enable. If you use the command show port security, notice that the security violation count is not zero. This is because our pings have been triggering port security violations. Show run. Look here under F02. Sticky MAC address learning is supposed to be configured, but instead a secure MAC address of aaaa.aaaa.aaaa is configured. Let's fix that. Conf T, interface F02, no switch port, port security, MAC address aaaa.aaaa.aaaa. Okay, that removed the configuration. Now let's enable sticky MAC learning. Switch port, port security, MAC address, Sticky. Okay, now let's try to ping from PC1 again, just to PC2. Ping 10.0.1.12. It doesn't work, but let's go back to switch 1 again. Do show port security. Notice that the security violation counter hasn't increased. So PC1 isn't triggering any more port security violations, but there are still problems elsewhere. Next, let's check our inter-VLAN routing, since PC1 can't ping PC2. Let's go on R1. Password of CCNA. Enable. Show run. Look at the two sub-interfaces of G00. There is one misconfiguration on each. On the G00.13 subinterface, the IP address is incorrect. It should be 10.0.0.1, which is the default gateway set on the PCs in VLAN 13, not 10.0.0.2. Also, the VLAN of the G00.24 subinterface is incorrect. It should be 24, not 2. Let's fix those errors. Conf T, interface G00.13, IP address, 10.0.0.1.255.255.255.0 Note that you don't have to remove the previous IP address first. This overwrites it. Next, interface G00.24 Encapsulation dot 1Q 24 Okay, that should fix it. Now, PC1 should be able to ping PC2. There are still problems on switch 2, which will prevent it from reaching PC3 and PC4. However, because PC1 and PC2 are connected to the same switch, and we fixed the inter-VLAN routing, they should be able to reach each other. 
I'll go on PC1 to try. Ping 10.0.1.12. There we go. Just to confirm, let's try PC3 too. Ping 10.0.0.13. Doesn't work. Now let's go on switch to password of CCNA, enable. Let's check if the trunk between switch one and switch two is working. Show interfaces trunk. Nothing appears. That's a problem. We could use show run to check, but let's try another command just to get familiar with the various show commands available. Show interfaces F01 switch port. Take a look at all the info here and familiarize yourself with it. For this lab, what we want to look at is here. The administrative and operational mode is static access, meaning it has been configured as an access port, not a trunk. Let's fix that. Conf T, interface F01, switch port mode trunk. Okay, that solves that. However, one more problem remains on switch two. Do show VLAN brief. Look here. F03 is in VLAN 24, as it should be. However, the F02 interface is in VLAN 23, which is not correct. It should be in VLAN 13. Let's fix that. Interface F02, switch port access VLAN 13. Okay, that's all the misconfigurations. That should restore full connectivity between the four PCs. It can take some time for a spanning tree to reconverge, so pings might not work immediately. If you haven't studied spanning tree yet, don't worry about it yet. But after changes in the configuration, like we just did, it can take some time for the switches to communicate the changes to each other and for those changes to take effect across the network. Hopefully enough time has passed, so let's go on PC1 to test. I'll ping PC2 first, although we already tested it before and it worked. Ping 10.0.1.12. The ping works again. Next, let's ping PC3, which didn't work previously because of the misconfigurations on switch two. Ping 10.0.0.13. Now the ping works. And finally, I'll ping PC4. Ping 10.0.1.14. It works as well. This lab is now complete. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, please consider contributing to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeremy's IT Lab. I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.